Let's have a look at uh, debugging tools then. So what tools could you use to debug your network at layer one? So layer one is the physical layer. That means you're looking at things like cables and fibers and, and radio spectrum. So the kind of things you could use might be a cable tester to check out your copper cables. For fiber cables, you can get a very cheap device, which is just a, a red LED laser that you can shine down the fiber. And at the other end, you can see if the light comes out the other end and you can see if you've got a, if the fiber takes the path you expect and if there's a big break in it or not. More expensive tools, a very specialist tool called an OTDR, an optical time delay reflectometer, will actually send test pulses of light down the fiber and look at the reflections coming back and time how long they take to come back. And by doing that, they can tell you exactly where there are faults in your fiber, fiber breaks, badly made joints, bad connectors, and so on. Expensive piece of equipment, but a very, very useful one for debugging fiber at layer one. Uh, radio networks at layer one, you can get things like spectrum analyzers that will tell you how much noise there is on a particular radio channel and help you to track down where those sources of noise are. At layer two, well, this is a bit more difficult. There aren't very many tools you can use that are layer two um, testing tools. You can you can send a ping, of course. You can ping a device that's on the same layer two network as you and check that you get a response. And that is obviously testing the network at layer two. But it doesn't really tell you much else. So in particular, there's no equivalent to trace route at layer two. So you can't, for example, tell whether that packet went through one switch or it went through 10 switches. You can't see which path it took. Um, so it's actually very hard to debug networks at layer two. And this is another good reason for keeping your layer two domains as small as you can, because it makes it easier to see what's going on. At layer three, test tools I'm sure you're familiar with, uh, ping will do uh, send a, an ICMP echo request packet. And when it reaches the destination, that device should send back an ICMP echo reply. And then you receive that and you can see how long it took to get there, whether it successfully got there or not. If it didn't come back successfully, it could be because um, the packet didn't arrive or it could be because the packet coming back was lost. But at least you can see whether it got there or not. Trace route, we've already talked about. It shows you the sequence of routers that a packet goes through on its way to reach a particular destination. Um, there's another tool called MTR, which is like a trace route that keeps running continuously. So you can see a trace route for multiple passes across the network, and it will keep track of the lowest and highest and average round trip times that are seen and so on. So that's useful for monitoring a network on the ongoing to see, particularly if it's varying. Uh, higher layers, um, so debugging your networks at layer four and above, you're probably going to be looking at things like application log files, firewall logs, to be able to see what's going on, to try and get your applications to report uh, what problems it sees and to see whether you can determine the problem. You may be able to do tests at these layers. So for example, for a web server, you could connect to port 80 using just Telnet. On, on port 80 and you can send an HTTP request by hand and get a response and also you can do the same with an email you can tell that to port 25 and send SMTP by hand and get a response so to do those kind of tests you need to understand how the protocols uh, actually work and how to format a message in HTTP and how to format a message with SMTP but very useful low level um, tools and on top of all of that across all of these layers Tools that decode packets on the wire, like Wireshark, or T-Shark is the text version of that, or even TCP dump. It's not as uh, good at decoding packets as, as Wireshark and T-Shark, but they can show you all of the headers, all of the different layers that are going on. So you can see the layer two headers, the layer three, layer four, and work out where the traffic is going. If it's not getting somewhere by monitoring the traffic at different points, sometimes you can find out what's going on as well. So that's in summary. So we have the OSI model of networking layers one to seven. These are all real physical things that you will see on your network. There are different devices that work at these different levels. There are different parts of each packet that you see on the network, which are related to these levels. And the levels work together so that we have the ability to do end-to-end -to -end applications across the internet.